I am going to attempt to spend the next 24 hours of my life in this kayak. What could go wrong? I don't know what to expect from this challenge. I did, it's definitely not going to be as hard as the 24-hour walk, but it's probably going to be a little harder than the roof challenge. So far, the challenge isn't off to a great start. The, I was originally going to start at noon. It's already 2 o'clock, and I have to work tomorrow, and it takes an hour to drive home. So I'm going to be cutting a little bit close, but I think I should be able to make it. Now, you might be thinking how I'm going to charge my camera and get food. So back in the dock, I made a safety raft where I ran extension cords with chargers, food, and other miscellaneous items that will help me survive for the next 24 hours. If it does rain, there are little tunnels that lead into another lake. I'm gonna just hide under those tunnels until it stops because I do not want to be stuck out here when it's raining. I know it doesn't look far, but this is where I have to go. And then right when I got to the tunnel, it stopped. Okay guys, I'm starting to get a little frustrated just because the weather just is not making up its mind. I thought the rainstorm was going to come in, but then it just didn't and stopped as soon as I got to the tunnel. So I didn't know if it was going to rain again. My original plan was to kayak around both lakes to start off the challenge, but I didn't want to do that if it was going to rain again, so I just explored the other lake for a little while and tried to waste time a little bit. Okay, so it's been quite a while since I've checked in. Just been rowing around the second lake and I also haven't checked my phone at all since I started. So we're gonna do that because I've had no concept of time. It's it could be we could be an hour in, we could be ten minutes in, we could be five hours in, I have no idea. So I'm gonna check to see how far we're in. I guess probably around two hours because my back is starting to hurt. And usually around the two hour mark, anytime I go kayaking, my back starts to hurt a lot. Guys, exactly two hours in right on the dot. It's like 4.09 right now. I started at 2.09, so exactly two hours in. After this, I explored some of the tunnels and I went under this super small tunnel that was very claustrophobic, like to the point where if I got stuck, I'd probably end up on that YouTube channel called Fatal Breakdown, and the title would be Guy Gets Stuck Under Tunnel. Well guys, the sun finally just made an appearance. I guess that means the storm either passed. I'm not sure. I might still come. I'm starting to feel like really, really tired and I'm I just want to take a nap so bad, but at the same time, I feel like I should save my sleep for when I actually go to sleep around like midnight or whatever. So if you can't tell, I was getting a little bored, but I found small ways to entertain myself, like trying to fit through these two branches. That actually did it. Okay guys, so I'm back in this little isolated spot over here. I'll probably stay here for a little while, just to like, I don't know sit differently because I've been sitting the same way for a little four hours now and it's starting to get a little uncomfortable so I'm gonna try to find new ways to sit. I also probably will use the bathroom back here because I really have to go. The only thing I don't like about this spot is it smells like a cow turd but other than that it's okay. Okay so you can't see it from here but that building where this arrow is at is where I'm gonna try to kayak to and if I get there in under an hour I will let myself order a pizza. So with that being said, I took off from my destination, actually making pretty good time until something totally unexpected happened. I ran into some old friends that I did sailing camp with like years ago. Because I, I have an anchor, so I'll probably anchor up, and then I brought two cushions, so I'll probably lay on here so I can sleep. Oh, you're sleeping on the kayak? Yeah. All right, good luck, man. Thanks. Not gonna lie, that was a very nice surprise. I went into this thinking I'd speak to no one for the full 24 hours, so the fact that I got that, was very refreshing and eventually I made it to the building in over an hour but I didn't really care because I actually didn't have any food for this whole time and it's already been five hours so I needed to get some food inside me I was burning so many calories but the catch is I would ha still have to paddle from here all the way to the other side of the lake to the public access because there's nothing more sketchy than asking the delivery person to come around back on a private property <laughs> I heard of the pizza when I was a fair enough distance away from the public launch because I knew it would take them a minute to get there, but when I tried to order it, the call failed three times. Ok, 
Okay, after a lot of bad reception, I think I finally just ordered my pizza. I told them to just be at the public boat launch. Hopefully they come to the dock. I do not. I just, it should be simple. Like if they should, I should, they should see me and I'll give them a good tip. Okay, I just got here. Now all I have to do is wait for my food. How you doing? Order pizza? Alright guys, let's take a look at this pizza. Oh, my mouth is watering. I was going to row out into the middle of the lake a little more, but I honestly don't really care. I'm just going to eat this and enjoy it right here. Not going to lie, getting this pizza was a huge win. It was just so relaxing eating that pizza in the lake after not having any food for the past seven hours. However, when the nightfall came, things got a lot more difficult. I was actually looking forward to the night, but something about being on that lake completely empty just wasn't sitting right with me. Usually I find this super cool being alone on the lake at night, but in that moment I was just wet cold and felt super disconnected from everything. At 1 a.m. I finally decided to get some rest. I got a pole sunken into the sand so that my GoPro could sit on top of it, grabbed an anchor, grabbed some cushions, and called it a day. And trying to sleep on a kayak is not as comfortable as you think it is. And it didn't help at around 2 a.m. this random boat came by, scaring the crap out of me. just woke up uh, not the best night's sleep of my life talking to you from the safe haven just because none of my cameras are charged and there's really not that much to say right now so what I'm gonna do is I have four hours left which is crazy so I'm gonna try to do what I was gonna do at the start of the challenge is go around not this lake but around lake as well this should take me a very long time so hopefully when I get back I only have like an hour or less the only problem is my arms do feel very very weak right now which is a problem and I don't know this might be a little too physically demanded and I don't know if it's just because I haven't had enough food or what but I just feel very weak right now but hopefully when I check in I'll have less than an hour left guys I just got back I checked the time and I still have an hour and 30 minutes to go not gonna lie, that's very disappointing. <sighs> so I just did what you expected me to do. Keep paddling around until the timer sound went off. We did it. 24 hours and a car. <laughs>